In this video, I'll go over some of the tips and tricks for working with MyCurveFit.com. In addition to manually entering our data points into the X and Y fields here, we can also copy and paste data directly from Excel. To demonstrate the different options, I have open an Excel spreadsheet with example data, which you can download by clicking the below link. Let's start with a simple example. Five sets of data points arranged in two different formats. The first format is arranged in a row orientation, with the X and corresponding Y data appearing horizontally in the same row. The second format is arranged in a column orientation, with the X and corresponding Y data appearing vertically in the same column. To copy and paste this into MyCurveFit.com, I'll highlight the data, press Ctrl-C to copy, and I'll navigate back to MyCurveFit.com, clear the existing data, and press Ctrl-V to paste. Once we've pasted in the data, MyCurveFit will prompt us to answer a couple of questions about the data organization. First, we'll select how the data is arranged. In this case, it's arranged by row, with X and Y data on each row. This figure highlights each data point's X and Y data with a white or red stripe to help us visualize the selection. Next, we'll specify which data contains the x-axis data, in this case, the left-hand column. Lastly, we'll review the data arrangement and press Apply to accept. So now you can see the data has been added to our curve fit chart. Now let's copy and paste in the data in a column format. I'll again select the data, press Ctrl-C to copy, clear the existing data, and press Ctrl-V to paste. I'll answer the same arrangement questions, indicating that our data is arranged by column. Select the x-axis column, and press Apply. And as you can see, our data has again been successfully imported. Once we've imported our data, we can update some of the settings for the x and y axes. To do this, we can click on the axis title, or on the x and y labels that appear at the end of each axis. For example, I'll enter the x-axis title concentration and the y-axis title absorbance. You can also specify whether the axis should be linear or logarithmic by toggling between these options. In addition to manually changing these axis titles, you can also import them directly from your Excel spreadsheet. To do that, I'll just include the axis titles when I'm selecting my data points. Again, pressing Ctrl-C to copy, clearing the data, and pressing Ctrl-V to paste. I'll be prompted to answer a similar set of questions. My data is arranged by row, and on the next step, I can select to use the highlighted data for axis titles. If I deselect this checkbox, the text will be ignored from the import. I'll leave the checkbox selected and proceed through the remaining steps to import my data. Here you can see the data points have been added and the custom axis titles have been applied. The range of the X and Y axes are automatically set to follow the data points. However, you can zoom into areas of the Y axis by selecting an area and dragging with the mouse. To reset the zoom, click the Reset Zoom Level option. If it's necessary to widen the X axis range, one way to do this would be to use the Predict function and add a point on the x-axis to extend the range. The chart display height can be adjusted by dragging the area between the chart area and the data area. The data points can also be modified from the curve chart. You can click on a data point to add a label. For example, I'd like to add a label standard one to this first data point. So I'll select add label and enter the title standard one. You can also add additional details in the detail box below. I'll add 1 to 10 to indicate a dilution. The last section will allow us to define a background color. Pressing Apply will add this label to the curve chart, and hovering over the point displays the additional details. These labels can be added manually, or they can be imported alongside your data points from within Excel. Following the same method as before, I'll select the data and labels and copy and paste them into my curve fit. I'll move through the arrangement selections 
And you'll see here an additional question. Does this column contain data labels? Pressing Next will include the labels along with my data points. However, if I did not want to include them, I can click the column to deselect the labels. Once the data has been imported, you can see the addition of labels to my curve chart. Data points can also be excluded from your fit by clicking on the point and selecting Flag. This marks the data point. However, if I would like to remove the point from the fit, click the Remove Flagged Points option, and our curve is recalculated. I have one last data set to import, one which contains multiple replicates for each x value. You can see in this data set in Excel, we have six x values, each of which with three corresponding y values. This will result in plotting 18 data points as opposed to six. So I'll again copy the data points from Excel, and paste them into my curve fit. I'll select the data arrangement, axis titles, x-axis data column, and you'll see here there's an additional step asking which columns contain y-axis data replicates. I'll leave all three columns selected, and on the last step, you'll note the x-axis values have been replicated three times to correspond to the three y values. Pressing apply, displays our curve fit with three replicates for each x-axis value. Once we're satisfied with our My Curve Fit data, we can export the report to a specified format by pressing the Export option. To see the available formats, press the XLSX drop-down box. I'll export to Excel, and once the report opens, we'll see our chart, curve equation, coefficients, goodness measures, and our calibrator table. These items are exported as native Excel objects, meaning they're available for further editing within Excel. For example, I can resize the chart, update or remove the chart and axis titles, and change the design of the chart. If you'd like to share a direct link to your data and fit with colleagues and collaborators, you can use the Share option. Here, you can optionally provide a title and description of your fit. Only those with knowledge of your unique link will be able to access your data and fit. If you have any questions about how to use mycurvefit.com, please email us at support at myassays.com.